fishing from a pontoon is something I always get asked about. Yeah, but can I fish from this boat? Or mom wants to relax and dad wants to go fishing. So this week on StarCraft Summer Fun, we're going to do exactly that. We're going to fish from the pontoon. And so I figured we'd recruit the help of the experts. I have Captain Cal from Happy Go Fishing Charters. So we're, uh, we're going to go for smallmouth today. Yep, we're going to be targeting smallmouth. Um, we're on Lake Simcoe and Barrie. Right now, we've got some uh, some iffy weather in the area. We're gonna kind of hope we got like a yeah. system coming in. It seems, yeah. and it's windy. And the wind is picking up, so we're gonna use that to our advantage. Smallmouth typically really like that. They get them fired up, especially this time of year. Uh, it's kind of fall is approaching. The weather is changing. So they're not gonna be as big as they will be in the early, the late fall. But are we gonna have a chance to get some big fish today? There's always a chance at some big fish on Lake Zipco. Fishing from a pontoon. Have you done this before? I have. Not quite a pontoon just like this, but I feel like we are going to be quite comfortable and have all the, uh, all, the every, all the amenities that we need to be comfortable while we're out here fishing today for sure. So we need to go up ahead here. Where are we going? We go by the marina or over? I meant the other marina. My marina. So we got to turn around. <laughs> yeah. We're going to turn around. <laughs> told me that. <laughs> Alright, so let's head out then. Let's go. Now your boat that you charter from is a StarCraft. What StarCraft is it? So I've got the StarCraft Islander 19-1V. And I'm super pleased with it. It is a bit of an older boat, but oh gosh, it uh, it really does what I need it to do. It, it takes on these big waves on Lake Simcoe, like no problem. It's a 19-footer? Yeah, 19-footer. And then what did you do to the outside of it? Oh. <laughs> the old uh, the happy go fishing wrap so we've got it we've got it decorated in some bright fun colors to kind of make us stand out on the water so people can really identify us out here how do you like fishing from the like the nice flat deck because you fish bass boats you fish you know your own boat yeah this I've reminds you I've of like a, a lot of different boats before none quite as stable as this i would say does this remind you of like a well, it's flat like a bass boat, but it's not, bass boat's not as a stable, right? Like, if someone moves around, you can feel it. I definitely feel safer in this boat than I would in, a, in an open concept bass boat. Right, this you got the gates, a, you can like lean into the gates or... Totally. It's very conducive for groups fishing, I would say. And we're drifting ever so slowly, like this is great, we're... Uh, this is We're just letting the wind kind of push us along here. the boat's drifting perfectly right now? Yeah, I've never seen a boat kind of drift like this. It's, uh, it's really working out perfectly here. So you're saying that this is the perfect fishing boat? I think this is probably oh, yep, the perfect another. fishing boat. Number two! Number two! Oh, gosh. Number two on the board <laughs> while the cameras are rolling. <laughs> oh gosh! Another, just a nice just size. Just crane one. them right in. Yep. Yeah! A little bit bigger. Look at that, the perfect door. This is the, the fish access panel. Yeah. Beautiful. I guess it would have been wise for me to bring my pliers. <laughs> you didn't bring them? Yeah, look how, look how meaty he is. He's meaty. He's gonna, what do you think? He'd pump up another pound or two. Another pound by the... Well, I guess not really, this is pretty small. Yeah, like a little fish like that might have a hard time putting on a full pound.
So, wait, we, should we call it a tie? Are we gonna count your perch? Did you catch two? I caught two. Then I catch two? You caught two. I caught two bass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll call it a tie. Uh, I don't know. I think the perch is a deal breaker. That's the one that. We're uh, bass fishing. Either either way, as a semi-professional fisherman, <laughs> how would you rate fishing on a pontoon boat? Fishing out of a pontoon boat was an excellent experience. Very, very good. Very comfortable. Stay, we just went stable. I mean, we were moving around and the boat didn't rock at all. It was great. We had a, a perfect drift going on. Like the, it doesn't get blown around in the wind like some boats do. You know, it's really you get out of control and some slight wind. Winds. It's rocky too, right? And yeah. We just kind of remained flat. Yeah, we were. Uh, we didn't drift too hard and we weren't rocking at all. It was very stable. So are you gonna go buy a pontoon for your next fishing boat? I'm already shopping around for pontoons. <laughs> I'm on the pontoon market. So, as you've seen, pontoons, you can fish from any pontoons, but StarCraft does have a full line of fishing pontoons, should you be a little bit more of a serious angler. So until next time, always use the hashtag StarCraft Summer Fun, like us on Facebook, visit the blog, and I'll see you out on the water. Let's roll. Let's roll. That's a wrap.